Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, small colors, races, and places. It is I, the Great Lemon. I hope you all are having a swell time, and I hope I can get this out by the new year. But if you just want to see the intro and the battle, there you go. Anyway, I think it's time that we uh, discussed. So in our last episode, we saw this battle here between the Greys and the Blues. And the Greys brought in the Goliath, or the uh, oh, 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 bouncing tank here. And uh, although um, the Blues were successful, they took quite heavy casualties. And now the Greys on the flanking side are pushing in. Um, I, we need to do another battle here to make sure to see if the Blues manage to hold this or if they're going to have to fall back. <gasps> I completely forgot. How did I forget this? So, um, I've actually started building cities, um, cardboard cities all over the place. I thought it would be kind of important to see cities grow and expand. And, uh, I want you guys to name these cities because there's quite a lot of them. Um, uh, they are um, simple cardboard cities with cardboard walls. Um, this is the blue one. We have the green one, which is technically over here, and over here, the turquoise one, which is absolutely huge. It takes up more than half the, uh, the sandbox, so that one's going to be crazy. We have the gray one, which is over here, this massive city, and of course, we have the tans with two small towns, one city, and another town over here, and another town over here, with one massive city over here. By the way, if you guys are interested, since the Legos and uh, the Special Forces of oh, their city disappeared, that's, that sucks, I'm going to have to rebuild that. Um, since uh, the Legos and Greens uh, captured that dock, which would be over here, if you guys are interested, we could do a Lego D-Day where the Legos would be coming in with about maybe a thousand or two thousand men and they would come and they would climb up this very, um, I guess you could say high, um, steep to the water and then they would besiege this city if you guys want to see it. And also, I've added quite a lot to the map besides just cities, so let's let's follow the river. So let's just say we are the Green Special Forces, right? We're following the river, looking, we're looking, we're looking, and, and this fence is kind of blocking us off the entire way. Oh, but what's this? It looks like some gray bases, huh? Um, these bases have infantry that can re so, uh, reinforce this uh, bridge right here. So it, it would make sense to attack these small kind of camps. So Sarge and his special forces, you know, they got parked their boats over here. There's a ridge, so they didn't, but they didn't realize that there's actually a weird uh, kind of dark green base over here. And uh, with these new kind of dark greens, um, I've also added a violet, these kind of pinkish purple. Uh, bros over here. So we have two new factions, these kind of uh, dark green, but don't really look very armored. Many of them don't even have helmets. Um, and uh, same over here, they have like a very, I think they have a nice size base, but if you compare them to the violets, oh my goodness. These violets, I've already given them their first hero and leader, uh, Apollyon this girl right here. She is insanely heavily armored and uh, she looks like a uh, mean mother trucker. And both uh, these um, dark lime greens and uh, um, I guess you could say velvet are at war with each other. It's curious to see if the greens decide to work with um, the dark lime greens or maybe they decide not to help anybody and then it's a three for all, I guess you could say. We also have, of course, this battle here. Uh, Air, uh, Air Division 101 uh, is going to be attacking, obviously, the Gray Bridge. So that can be a, another battle. So I'm going to give you guys three options. Uh, the Bridge Battle, um, the newest um, two nations. 
nations and the greens, and you guys get to decide whether or not they're allies or enemies. Or the great Lego D-Day, which I'm going to have to build up a little bit more. I'm going to build them a wall and maybe some Lego bunkers and all sorts of stuff. That would be awesome. Ooh, Lego D-Day. But anyway, you guys get to decide. Is it going to be that one, Lego D-Day, uh, this encounter here, or the bridge battle? All right, so here we are on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you've never seen snow on this side before. Look at the school playground. Oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. Anyway, so today's battle is going to be for this house here. Yes, we will be doing an inside close quarters battle. It just overvoted the Battle of the Bridge. So we're going to be doing this battle. As I can see, a convoy of trucks are just arriving on the scene now, looking like straight heading for this general. So we will see. Who do you think the Red Special Forces are? Let's find out, shall we? Let's go. Sir, I think they're running late. Watch your tongue, soldier. These guys are never late. These are the Crimson Marines, hand-picked by the Crimson Falcon himself. Here they come. Crimson Marine of the Crimson Federation, your job is to clear out this house and take no survivors. The Crimson Falcon has demanded this. May God help all those who get in your way. Sir, God help? If there is any God, they will take mercy on the souls that the Crimson Marines take the fight to. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the battlefield, and as you can see, holy crap, this is going to be pretty crazy. So, um, where to begin? Um, I built this map all by myself. We have kind of a living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom with a bathroom. Um, the Crimson Ultramarines, I think we're going to call them. Yes, I wanted to put Warhammer back into our series. Um, we'll be coming through this window, and as you can see, they are already set up, ready to start and engaging. Their goal is to swarm, capturing the three headquarters. One underneath the TV in uh, the living room. One in the bedroom near the, I guess, back door, and one near the countertop in the kitchen. I'm just curious to see if they are capable of doing. Hey, look, Army Men RTS is on the, is on the TV, with that PlayStation 2, the controllers, and the game. Uh, <laughs> that was a good game, my friends. I recommend it all. It's on Steam. You can buy it. Um, anyway, without further ado, I think it's time that we got into the battle. Um, I wish all... <sighs> I wish all factions the best of luck. Um, we're going to be doing this mainly on slow-mo, so let's go. Okay, let the battle begin. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, and that elite is running straight through. He's got that energy sword. You better look out if he swings that thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he just straight up kicked him. He's just kicking, and the elite goes down. He's like, get the hell down. Damn. Holy crap. 
it looks like the Ultramarines are trying to set up a defensive line here. I don't know how well that's going. The uh, more elites are coming in now. Oh my god, don't just run straight in. That's suicide. Oh my god. Uh, the elites don't care. Oh my god, they get one shot at one or two shot at depending on where they're hit. Oh my god. Bro, he, he's just like, duh. He's just running in. He doesn't care.
all the men over there. <laughs> They're all trying, man. They're all trying. Oh my god, they're retreating! Don't let them retreat! Dude, they're breaking in. That is absolute insanity. Um, we still have some fighting over here, but the Ultramarines have now captured their first headquarters. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> I'll put it on half speed. Bro, that, that ultra, that freaking, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Bro, they're in. They are in. Look at that. They are in. They're all over the place. Pink, 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 pink. He's like, die. No, don't. Don't do it. gentlemen the battle is over the um, crimson ultramarines have completely cleared out this mind you with just maybe a couple hundred men unbelievable can I can I see oh my god 28 30 probably 32 men comparably to uh, like 600 <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, look at the tank. It's so beaten up. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um I hope you enjoyed this battle. This was absolutely ridiculous, if you uh ask me. But um wow. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. I built this map myself using the Armyman 3D mod. Um, I'll, I'll link all the mods I use down below. It takes a little bit of time to try to figure out how to make all these mods work. But um, I figured it out that you need to do the Halo mod. Like you first do the two, the Warhammer platform, the Warhammer mod that allows you to have the Ultramarines. Um, the Armyman 3D. And then uh, the halo for this uh, uh, for for this um, Warhammer mod. So then voila. But anyway, besides the point, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was absolutely insane. Till next time. And if any of you guys have any more requests, by all means, link them down below. Take care, guys.